what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm going to be talking about five different specs that we should add money as we speak because they have been oversold especially in the past three four days i purchased a few shares today i want to share that with you and why i did that with that let's get started Thank you everyone for taking time from your busy schedule and watching this video if you are here for the first time please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out great videos that we post on a daily basis i'm sure you guys are extremely surprised by gamestop what a crazy move guys right now it is trading at 209 dollars with a 10 billion dollar valuation when it was trading around 59 dollars people jumped in and started buying different put options i talked about it in my video do not buy put options yet i know it's gonna come down at some point because logically speaking this will not continue forever no one knows when that will happen that's why people were not patient enough start to buy different put option at 58 dollar put option on 90 dollar put option a hundred dollar put option at 115 dollars and people were expecting that this will go down but i consistently say do not buy put options yet because if you go and see wall street baits you know what i'm talking about and literally there is a war going on but when the time comes especially right now it is trading at 209 dollars i am extremely tempted to start buying a liberal put option that is going to be expiring the next three four five months because eventually there is going to be a correction if you are new for options trading it is very risky and dangerous any money you put on gamestop is the money that you don't need i personally gonna wait a little more and see what happens because there are two million people we're expecting this to go up to 300 400 dollars it is very unlikely for me to blindly bet against that but yesterday if you remember i also mentioned amc i said that it is time to buy a few contracts of amc and this probably portfolio i'm gonna buy a couple of contracts and today i purchased three contracts that's gonna be expiring on february and march if you remember when amc was trading at two dollar and 98 cents we drew this chart and we saw there was a squeeze that this eventually gonna go up to another higher high and exactly did that and went up to five dollar and 62 cents and yesterday again we talked about it this is gonna be another buying opportunity pay attention to this and today it popped up and it went all the way to eight dollar and 25 cents there are a lot of catalysts of course the first thing is there is a total of 917 million dollars in financing amc that is a very good news we know that at some point amc was really close to bankruptcy but now that pressure is out of the equation and more investors are excited about this and the other thing is if you go to wall street baits this is one of the stock they're preparing to short to squeeze so we swing traders day traders we need to take advantage of this i personally do not suggest to invest in something that is extremely volatile but at this time i took a risk and i'm not advising you to do the same but if you have some surplus money maybe this could be a very good opportunity please do your own profound research this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i'm just sharing what i have done now let's talk about a few other things the first pick that i want to talk about is cgro collective growth the reason i want to talk about this is because if you remember one month back when cgro announced they most likely gonna merge with innovis technology the price went up all the way to 16 dollars i personally got a lot of message now it is too expensive i'm not gonna be able to invest in this company this is a great company we're gonna see the stock price once the merger is completed minimum above 20 dollars we're gonna come back and talk about it but today it gave us that buying opportunity the question is did you took advantage of it days like this deep down we know some of the stocks that dropped today for no reason they're gonna come back stronger Warren Buffett once said that when everybody's greedy, be fearful. When everybody's fearful, be greedy. When he said that, he's talking about us. So I added a few more shares and now I have 200 shares in this public portfolio. And the next one is another LiDAR spake that is going to be merging with Auster. Right now it's trading at $12.45. If you saw this spake a month back, it was trading at $16.25. At that time, I released a video saying that Right now, it's not a good idea to buy this spec because there is a lot of momentum and a lot of people are talking about it. It's going to give us another buying opportunity. If you really become patient, there is always good buying opportunity. I added another 80 shares today and I have 200 shares. 
We know LiDAR is a very key product for autonomous driving. If you really want to know more about it, I made a video about Innovis Technologies. I made a video about Luminar and I made a video about CLA. Please go back and refresh those videos. You can really learn about this company in the projective road. I personally think this $12.45 easily can double to $24 to $25. If you remember what happened to Luminar Technologies, it was a spike at $10. So once they start to talk about the merger, the price went up to $18 and it gave us a buying opportunity around $17 and jumped all the way to $41. Right, right at this time, I sold most of the shares and it dropped back to $22. I bought back again. If you see back on December 8th, I sold 10 shares for $41. In December 9th, I sold another 10 shares for $38. Another 10 shares for $37. And finally, I took most of my profit and I started to put it on CLA and CGRO. The third spec that I want to talk about is BFT. This is a company that's going to be merging with Paysafe. We know Paysafe is another payment method. Fintech industry is booming. If you see PayPal, Square, they have crazy market cap valuation compared to Paysafe. I personally see this stock at least doubling. And today, I believe it gave us a very good buying opportunity because at some point it reached almost $20 because there's a lot of hype around it for no reason. Start to sell off. I personally bought 30 share. Once the merger is completed, this is going to go at least to $30. If the merger didn't go through, I'm going to be losing $4.47 per share. But the likelihood of that happening is very rare. The other two specs that I want to talk about is they haven't found a merger yet. There's IPOD and IPOF. Both dropped in price the last couple of days. We know the founder of the specs are Shamat Polyhapatia. I know it is very risky to buy into a spec before they found a merger. Honestly speaking, the reason I bought into IPOD and IPOF is because of the leadership. I truly believe in Shamat Polyhapatia. Even in the past, he took a lot of companies public such as Virgin Galactic, Open Door, Clover Health, all these companies. And now IPO is going to be merging with SoFi. And I personally believe IPOF and IPOD are going to be merging with great companies as well. So my strategy in this spec, especially for IPOF, it ran up so much at some point, even reached to $16.19. And today it gave us a very good buying opportunity. I added 100 more shares and now I have 150 shares for $14.62. At the same time, IPOD is right now trading at $14.80. When the market opens, I'm going to be adding another 70 shares and make this 150 shares. What I am doing right here is just pointing it out when there is a good buying opportunity. I hope that is clear. Last but not the least, let's talk about Marathon Pattern Group. In the last three months, this stock has run up so much from $2 at some point reached $26. Make two videos about Mara. The first one is when it was trading at $11. I wish I bought at that time. I didn't. I missed that window of opportunity. I personally purchased 60 shares at $17.90. We know that Bitcoin, Ethereum, all these cryptocurrencies are doing amazing in the past. Right now, they're a little bit calm, but there's going to be a time the second wave start to pick up. That is when and we wish we had this opportunity. I personally see Mara going to at least $40 a share. We're going to come back and talk about it, but my price target for Mara is $40 a share. If you see this article, cryptocurrency mining company Marathon Patent Group bought $150 million in Bitcoin for around $31,100 apiece during the crypto asset recent price up. They showed me how much they believe in themselves, how much they believe in cryptocurrencies. I might be wrong, I might be right. I'm just sharing what I have done today because I promised every time when I make a move, I'll make a video about it. And so you guys can follow every step I'm taking. If you see any value in this video, guys, please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. With that, I'm gonna see you on the next video. Have a blessed day.